Okay, so this video is gonna be about lubricating a PSC blower motor. This is the one I pulled out of our Ream gas furnace. And uh, it had oil that leaked out of the bushings. There's a bushing here, bushing here. These are not bearings, these are bushings. And uh, the oil all leaked out and it was recommended to replace it. So customer went ahead and did that. This is the specs on the motor. This is the box from the new one. And to re-lubricate this motor, uh, you do have to disassemble it. There are two, you can see the Sharpie marks. This is where the old oil ports used to be on the old style. And uh, you can see it goes all the way down to the felt-like material, which is inside here. And uh, of course, there's no hole here. This is where you would, would have lubricated it, but um, so to, that's on the very old style motor. So to lubricate this one, you do need to disassemble the motor. Um, and to do that, you do need a quarter inch bit to unscrew these four screws here. And then something to hold the nut on the other side. You might be able to get it with just holding your, holding it with your fingers. Okay, yeah, I just held it with my fingers. Just kind of thread it on here so I don't lose it. Like that. You can see the capacitor I attached to it. I was testing it to see if it still worked and uh, the motor speed on it. I'm using a digital tachometer to measure the RPMs of the motor and the different speeds. Okay, I think for this last one, I might have to. Let's break it free. The wrench. This is not a very, it's not an impact driver, so it's not the best for this, but. Okay, so now that all four bolts are out, you just give it a light tapping right here on the shaft. This thing pops out and you just give that a pull. You can see the oil that has leaked out. You can see the felt like material down inside there, it's white. Okay, and then we're gonna pull the shaft, pull the uh, rotor out. And you can see the grease there. Just gonna wipe all this off. place the rotor back into here backwards and I'm going to tap the shaft on the ground in order to dislocate this last piece it's a very light tap it's pop out okay now both bushings have been removed and you can see this one has been leaking oil as well so we do need to pop these caps off and then remove this metal piece to get to the felt like material this metal piece down here is gonna be a triangular piece based on just previous ones I've taken apart. So I'll just wipe all that off. I do suppose that you could just lubricate from the felt like material here with an oiler, which you can definitely do that. Would need to disassemble it, but I'll uh, take this one apart and uh, show the condition of the felt material. Okay. Got a couple 
couple screwdrivers here. Just pry up here. There you go. Let's pop up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Sorry, maybe that was off screen, but just with the screwdriver, pry this cap up. You can see the felt material. You can see the little triangle piece I was speaking about. And then right here is the part that actually wicks oil onto the shaft. And you can see it's directly in line with this piece, which you would have oiled if this was all bored out. But uh, they have stopped doing that. So all this felt material is supposed to be oil packed. And squeeze it get a little bit of oil on the finger see that so what you can do is add oil to soak all this felt material and as it spins it'll the oil will get slung to the outside it'll get soaked into this like wick and it'll get wicked onto the motor shaft and you can see the wick down inside there Side right here is nice and dark right here so we're gonna remove the wick I have to pull it up at an angle you can see so it wouldn't be a bad idea to clean this uh, and then we insert it once this is all soaked that way you get some good uh, transfer of oil onto the uh, motor shaft so I do believe this felt material gets darker I did it on a shaded pull bathroom fan exhaust motor and the felt went from being white like this to being very dark so let's just uh, do that real quick set this down as well so I do have a universal zoom spout oiler so I'll just get all that out. I believe this should be a non-detergent oil SAE number 20 probably would be the best type of oil to use for this I'm not sure what kind of oil this is it doesn't really tell you the this detergent or non-detergent so I think it's like a proprietary formula to keep it under lock and key they don't want you to uh, basically they want you to keep buying their product so they don't tell you what kind of oil to use because you can probably get it cheaper somewhere else basically I soak the felt material until it doesn't take any more oil and then uh, I pat the surface of it dry you can see how much wetter that is so there's nothing wrong with the motor itself the motor is fine it's just the felt material has dried out and it has leaked oil out um, this customer ran her fan 24 7 and uh, I believe the furnace was 10 to 15 years old, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it was an older unit. So, but if your fan hasn't burned out, which it will if you don't replace it or lubricate like this, it will burn out if it's not lubricated. The, moni the windings will uh, short out, will draw high power and burn out the windings, strip the breaker. Okay, set that down, and uh, felt-like material as well, I'm just going to try to add oil to it and see if it changes color, oh, it's very hard, very hard on this piece here, that could be, could be why it failed, this piece right here is very hard, wasn't able to wick oil properly maybe, onto the shaft, very hard. I 
it's very dry, very dry. So yeah, just soak it until it doesn't take any more oil. Look at all that coming off. So it's definitely not supposed to be dark, as you can see. So I might take this to the sink and wash it with some soap and water, dry it, and then re uh, re-oil it. That would probably be the best thing to do to clean this felt material out. But I think for now, I'm gonna try to squeeze this onto the rag. Oh yeah, it's definitely cleaning it up, so maybe not soap and water, especially where you're going to have oil, but you could do that as long as you dry it thoroughly. This seems to be working as well. Okay, so this is looking a lot better. Okay, so I've reinserted the wick. Okay. And then we're gonna put this little triangle piece back. Okay. I don't know if it matters, but I'm gonna cover up the, the wick part over here with one of the triangle pieces. I don't remember how it took off, but... Pressing it down. Okay. I believe that looks pretty good. As far as the closure goes, I believe that's how it was. It's not going down any further, so. Installing this, you have to uh, line up the uh, end of bells with these motor with these screw shafts. So there you go. We'll do the same for this guy. This one does have a gap as well, so that one is good. There we go. Looks like this felt material is starting to work its way out. So we just squeeze that back down, pull this off, and yeah, so with a triangle piece, it was definitely covering the wick, so my intuition was right. You can see this is dry as well. Pull out this wick. See, it's also very dark. Add some oil to that. Give it a little squeeze. Get that. 
darkness out of there. Okay, I think it's definitely a lot better. I'm gonna spread this felt to a little bit. Stick it back in. Just like that. Back it around. Oh, maybe the wake. Add a bunch of oil to that. And that oil soaks down into the material. Listen for the click, and then reassemble. Slap like that. Pieces to click in. Just finger tighten them for now. I'm doing this off frame. Oops. able to get it tight enough without a wrench on the other end so there you go now this motor is newly lubricated okay okay and then I got a uh, test wire I made Speed. I taped the ends there so it wouldn't create a electrical short. There you go. Motor is running. Just like that. There you go. That's how you lubricate a factory lubricated, do not need to lubricate, quote unquote, uh, blower motor, PSC blower motor for furnace.